Hi. If you've ever sunk in Sea of Thieves and wondered what you could have done to win the fight or just win the broad, this is the guide for you. I'll be going over 5 tips to help you get better at Sea of Thieves and increase your chance of sinking the next boat you find and decrease the chance of you sinking. Follow the cannon arc. Once a cannonball has been shot, it leaves a white smoke trail in its wake. This is called the cannon arc. Matching cannon arc is a very useful skill to have. It's the art of watching your team's cannons and matching what they are doing based off the smoke trail of their cannon. This is very useful if you're missing your shots and even more useful if you have a skilled flex or a main cannon to match. If your main cannon or flex is hitting their shots, simply shoot your cannonball in the same arc and smoke trail that their cannonball is and you will hit. Furthermore, if your team's cannons are not hitting, you can use the arc to adjust. If you notice that the arc is too high, shoot lower. If you notice the arc is too low, shoot higher. Same can be said with your opponent's cannon arc. If they are hitting, simply match their cannonball and smoke trail, and you should be able to land your shots. If your opponent is shooting low or shooting high, you can adjust your cannon. If your opponent's cannons are a bit high, shoot lower than that arc. If their opponent's cannons are a bit low, shoot higher than that arc. This way, you have an idea of where the cannonball is going to land, and this should allow you to hit your shots. In this clip right here, you can see that once I get on the cannon, I follow my teammate's arc. As they're coming out, they're hitting their boat, and in doing so, I am able to get hit markers on their boat as well. Shooting cannons without following an arc of any kind is very catastrophic to you and your teammates, so I recommend you start learning how to do it now. A big part of this game, or any game as a matter of fact, is communication, also known as calming. Your teammates are not mind readers, they do not know what sails you on up, if your cannons are low or high, or if you need buckets. However, players need to know what to calm and what not to calm. It would be impossible for me to tell you everything that you should calm and you shouldn't calm. However, I will break it down for you. If the information you're trying to get across will help your team stay afloat, win the broad, or not sink, say it. Some quick examples of things you should calm are things such as if you need a certain sail up, if your wheel got cracked, if one of your teammate cannons are too low, too high, if they need to lead more, or simply if you got one bald. Furthermore, if you are hitting your cannon shots, it is a good idea to calm out the reference points you are hitting. For example, if you are hitting crow's nest, you can say, I'm hitting on crows, or if you're hitting on cannon line, you can say hitting their cannon line. This would help your teammates connect their cannons with yours, match your arc, and win the broad. This is an image I found from the Just a Couple of Sailors Discord server. It highlights every reference point, which is incredibly helpful for your teammates to start hitting cannon shots and for you to have better comms. I highly encourage everyone to screenshot this and use this the next time you start shooting cannons. One of the most important tips in this video, ship rolls. If you do not assign your crewmate ship rolls, let's just say you won't be alive for very long. Ship rolls are the key to staying afloat and assuring that not everyone goes down at once for a bucket and not everyone is all trying to get on the same cannon. There are four ship rolls. The bilge, flex, main cannon, and the helm. I will not go in depth on these rolls as there are plenty of videos out there that uh, go into quite a lot of depth in analyzing these rolls. However, I will describe them. The helm's roll is to turn the boat, raise sails, and ensure you have angle at all times to shoot the other boat or to peel out if you are in a losing broadside. They are the eyes of the boat and ensure you do not start nosing broadsides. The bilge is the person in charge of ensuring you don't sink. They are in charge of repping holes, uh, getting buckets, and calling down the flex to help. The flex's role is to help the bilge when they are overwhelmed with water, help the main cannon shoot the boat, the opposing boat, and get on the helm if the helm ever gets popcorned off. The main cannon roll is as the name suggests. It should be on the cannon at all times, or at least try to, and deal the most damage to the opposing boats. 
On a sloop, the main cannon and flex are combined into one single roll, and the helm and bilge are combined into one roll. On brigantine, the helm and bilge are combined into one roll, and the flex and main cannon stay the same as separate rolls. On a galleon, you will have all four. You will have a dedicated helm, a dedicated bilge, dedicated main cannon, and a dedicated flex. Every time you are on a boat, make sure these rolls are always filled by someone who knows what they are doing. This creates a organized and well-run boat without everyone getting on each other's nerves and sinking. Hockeys are just as crucial as rolls on a boat. If you are still using the wheel to access food, coconuts, blender bombs, you're at a major disadvantage. It is slower and takes much effort to go through the wheel to get to that desired item than binding a key for it and instantly pulling it out. This can mean the difference between life or death or sink and afloat in this game. The important ones I recommend binding to a hotkey is throwables, your bucket, your wood, and your fruit. These are the most used in PvP combat and without a hotkey, your chance of dying go up a lot. Last but not least, we have quick swapping. This is a must learn for double gunners. It's the act of shooting your gun, then sprinting, and then shooting again. This is quicker than if you were to shoot and not sprint. In this clip, I do not quick swap. As you can see, the pistol shoots much later, and in a real PvP fight, this can mean the difference between living or dying. Quick swapping works with all weapons if you are double gunning, even with blunder, so be sure to get the mechanics down. Again, to recap, you shoot your first gun, then sprint momentarily and quickly swap to your second gun and shoot. This is much faster than if you don't sprint at all. That is all for this tips video, and I will see you guys later.